Hi, it is Sandra, and uh, it is time to do another Sandra versus Pinterest. This time it is um, apple cinnamon crescent rolls. Mm -hmm. Apparently it's super easy, so I'm gonna try to make it easy, but knowing me, I'm likely going to make it complicated. Hopefully it will taste delicious though. Mm -hmm. Let's give it a try. Okay, so because I don't like a super, super crunchy, crunchy apple in my crescent rolls, I am kind of doing it on the stove top to make them smushier. So in here is three apples, um, cinnamon, brown sugar, and nutmeg with a little bit of um, lemon juice to make the apples not brown. And I'm gonna just like let them squish up a little bit. I think there's a word for that that is a chefy word, but I can't think of it right now because it's Sunday night and um, my vocabulary is limited. Okay, so while my apples are doing their little apple-y thing, um, I'm gonna get working on the crescent rolls. Yes, just a normal thing of crescent rolls. I've gotta try to open it, which is always a big feat when you're actually opening these things. They can be a little tricky. And I'm gonna unroll them and uh, get them ready. That's my, my goal right now. Why is this always so hard to do? I'm gonna have to resort to that in this to get this open. This is the hardest part of this entire thing, that's it. Success! Oh, it actually made me scream when I actually got it open. It startled me. I've been watching scary movies all day, so I guess that happens. I feel like these aren't made like they used to be. Like this, 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 like these are the shapes. Hi, pork chop. You're not gonna eat this. But like these are the shapes that they're coming out of us. Anyway, I'm gonna work on this. Okay, so I've got these all lined up. They are all weird shapes, but at the end of it, we're just gonna basically stuff them, put sugar on them, and make them uh, delicious. This one, however, is all the little scrap bits that didn't want to turn into a triangle that I just turned into a circle. So that will turn into some sort of pockety type thing. So now all I'm gonna do is take brown sugar, sprinkle it all over here, do 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 do, and then uh, get the apples. So these are a little, um, well, rustic looking, that's what we will call them. Um, but I stuffed them all with apples. But to roll this one up, that one, again, gonna be some sort of pockety thing. Um, and then we're going to bake them. The only thing I should mention is that um, in this little mixture, there should have been more cinnamon, but I used all my cinnamon in my granola I made last night. So, uh, there was a little bit left to put in this apple mixture, but there should definitely be more cinnamon. Not that you can tell, because you're not gonna taste these, but I will at the end. No, okay, into the oven they go. For about 12 minutes. Oh my gosh, I need to clean my oven. And then um, I cut too many apples, so that's basically going to be for my oatmeal in the morning. Ooh, just came out. It's bubbling. That's some caramely goodness there. That's just a weird pocket one. You know, my suggestion might be I haven't eaten them yet, but what I might think of doing next time is instead of using crescent rolls, do like a puff pastry. And as a filling, you're supposed to put walnuts in these. I don't like that in my baking, as I've discussed on air copious amounts of times. Um, but what you could do is put like little score bits in there. Those would be delicious. And if you like walnuts, you put walnuts in there. Okay, so I took one bite and um, they're pretty good. The only complaint I would have is they're a little soggy at the bottom, but pretty tasty and quick. So if you need to use up apples and you want like a little taste of fall, that's good. Pinterest win.